I better not do that. I better not do that. My Nana will smack me. I'm eating my little lunch here, peanut butter, a little bit of honey on rye bread, actually. It's a little bit odd of a, it's an odd combination. I know, but it works. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. It's a busy, busy day. Beautiful day here in Southeast Tennessee. Guys, we're in the 60s. It's sunny, trying to get some stuff done. We've had to have our buddies come and help us out um, in terms of some plumbing issues up here at the barn. If it's not one thing, it's another, right? It's just one, if it's not one thing, it's another. <laughs> this is not the day that you wanna be looking at news on uh, X or otherwise known as Twitter because it'll just further stress you out. But we are having an issue up here with our little, um, our doohickey, you know, the thingamabobber, uh, the, where the water comes out, right? Uh, and uh, so it's gonna have to be replaced. We've worked with it as much as we can and we called our buddy who is a plumber in. It's not, it's gonna have to be completely replaced. He just left and said, it's not gonna be, he told me how much it, it's gonna be. It's totally manageable, not that super expensive. So they're gonna come back hopefully tomorrow and replace it. Thank goodness I have these water tanks. Everything is working out well. So everybody's safe and good, but you're always gonna have some type of emergency. This is why I tell you to please make sure that you are keeping a, a, a safety fund uh, that you have on hand so that you can handle emergencies, okay? Okay, okay? Uh, and by the way, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Make sure you make that Irish apple cake, the video before this. So anyway, so I had to come up here and talk to them and they left and I had my little sandwich and I thought we would talk a couple things out today. Um, Folks, we're in for it regardless of who gets elected in November, even if we do or do not, who knows, have an election. I want to encourage you today that if there is a particular person that you want to hear a lot of wisdom from, besides me, of course. <laughs> yeah, some of you are like, I despise her. <laughs> I know, but you still watch my videos. Uh, that's what I don't understand. Didn't that your your biggest fans are the people that don't like you or that don't agree with you, <laughs> and they just try, either they have to mimic or they have to watch. They just have to stay all up in your business. You know you've got that person. She works with you at the office or she's at your say. She's the church lady. You know you have that church lady. Just all up. She can't stand you. Uh, and she talks about you so bad, but she just has to be up in your business. Although you got that cousin, you know, they watch you every day and they, they just, you know, you know, you got that person. I know we all have that person. Um, but listen, um, if there is somebody that you should be just in my opinion, and I don't know everything about him, but I have really been binge watching a lot of things that he's been, he, whether he's been interviewed or on basically his, um, his social media, whatever. And that is Colonel Douglas McGregor. Um, I really, Colonel Douglas McGregor. Um, hello. Um, will you please, will you run for office, sir? Um, I am, uh, really, really, really appreciating, um, the things that I'm hearing from him. Um, you can just type in his name. He's being, he's been interviewed, just alone over the last couple of weeks by multiple channels. He does a lot of interviews right now. Maybe I can get, oh, maybe I should ask to do an interview. He might, wouldn't that be awesome? Oh my goodness. Uh, we'd have a lot to talk about, um, but uh, he's awesome. And I want you to listen to the things that he's telling you. Um, and I think that his response to the state of the disaster um, from last Thursday was remarkable. Um, I will actually put a link to that down below. How about that? I want you to see it. I was like, yeah, yes, thank you. So I want to mention him because a lot of you ask who I like to listen to. And even if there's individuals um, that I don't necessarily fully agree with, I like to get their perspective. I mean, we're all going to have differences, but uh, I, I think he's laying it out there for you. And I think you should take a listen to what he has to say, uh, whether it's talking about Xanadu uh, whether it's talking about what things are going on with Mr. Pooty, that's what I call. <laughs> See, I, 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 I like to jest with all of these things a little bit. Uh, what's going on with our economy, but the, 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 the meat and potatoes is serious with him. Okay. Everything is serious. Not with me necessarily. I have to kind of joke and jest about all the things going on. That's how I stay sane on most days. Okay. 
Guys, I want to say this to you right now, and I'm going to continue to tell you to prepare spiritually, mentally, uh, financially, and especially in your pantry. I'm so fortunate right now. My my youngest son right now, he's he's cooking up some early dinner for us because he loves to cook. And um, he said, Mom, I'm going to go through the pantry and see if I can find any things that are expired or we need to, uh, to uh, go, you know, go through or eliminate or replace. My 18-year-old son, as I'm sitting here talking to you right now, is doing these things in the kitchen. Moms, keep doing the best that you can with your children and pull them out of these schools and homeschool them and teach them well. I believe the children are our future. <laughs> teach them well and let them lead the way, right? Right, right? So that's what Gabriel is currently doing right now, and I'm so proud of that. I walked into the kitchen, and I said, what are you doing? And he's like, well, I'm cooking. He said, Mom, I pulled all of these things. Some of them are either expired or they're getting close to expired. And I just said, okay, I will go through it. He just went and did all this on his own. He's like, I'm going to keep going through and seeing what I find. I said, okay. Guys, I want to say this. So there's some, some info for you. Colonel Douglas McGregor. Um, we are financially in for it. This is why I'm telling you to prepare. We can talk about the violence that is going on in this country. We can talk about the invasion of illegal invaders. Uh, we can talk about um, people literally just fighting with each other all over the place in the streets. I saw a new video this just an hour ago on X, otherwise known as Twitter, um, where a gentleman is just on top of a guy beating the, the fire out of him. And when the girlfriend of the little guy on the ground tries to come up and intervene, he slams her and knocks her out on the ground too. This is why I want to tell you, Ladies, you better be careful of where you're going, what you're doing. You better be talking to your children, boys and girls, young people, and you better learn self-defense. Uh, and you better have a trusty friend with you at all times. Maybe various forms of buddies on you nowadays because things are happening and they are out of control. I don't foresee this going away right now because we are in a massive form of spiritual warfare. Um, and it's going to continue to amp up. Tensions are high, stress is high, people are angry, people are misguided, people are hungry, and it's just all going to continue to happen. Now, I don't know what's going to happen in the near future, six months from now, in terms of our banks and of our economy, but I will tell you this, we are uns what we have going on is not sustainable. That's, that's, that is a no-brainer situation, and we are adding... This, we're adding a trillion dollars every hundred days right now. If you haven't heard that, somewhere between the ballpark of three, every three to four months right now on the, with the path that we are on because they're not cutting, they're not cutting jack squat. Okay. Um, a trillion dollars, trillion dollars. Are we in a crisis right now? Do you feel like you're in a crisis? I mean, I know Bernie Sanders at the state of the um, disaster last Thursday tried to make you think like he was really up in all wearing his mask. But if you saw him sitting there amongst all the hundreds of people really close and tight and talking and laughing and <laughs> holding his mask because, uh, because Joey was late because he was making sure that he had enough hard shell on his chocolate chip ice cream at the White House before he could get up there and talk with talk to you with his daughter's eyes um you know bernie was sitting there and uh, was holding his mask yeah, blah, 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 holding it but then later when joey was finally mumbling and stumbling up there and yelling at everybody they panned it and they showed bernie he's sitting there did you see that i know they've put some memes out about that in the last day or two but i mean i about knocked james off the couch i'm like look at this joke so if you want to wear a face diaper, I don't care what you do, okay? I mean, we're all going to hell in a handbasket right now, so I, this is not my fight. I don't care, but <laughs> I just want to let you know, you have watched the biggest scam uh, and uh, crime against humanity over the last three to four years, which has cost lives, health, um, and jobs for people, and this economy. So, I, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But when you really get down to it, this is what I'm talking about. The economy is not getting any better, okay? I don't care what the CPI number is today because you know what's going to happen. I'm going to go today or tomorrow or the next day, and I'm going to have a list of items that I need to get to replace in my pantry because my son is helping me out. Thank, good, thank, thank you, Lord. What a good boy. What a good son. You know, I've, we've taught him. We've taught him well. Um I'm going to have to go replace these items. Do you think you're going to go buy olive oil, 
flour, um, anything right now at the same price that you would have five years ago, three years ago, you know the answer to that. And when they tell you that you're looking at prices, uh, uh, if groceries going up 18 to 20%, that's a lie too. I don't, that's, not, that's a lie. That's a lie. That is not the true number. We all know it's far higher than that if we really get down to the numbers. We've done that here on the channel with our little observations and we were talking 63%. I have a whole video on that just a couple months ago if you want to go check it out if you don't believe me. Showed you the complete breakdown from previous videos, previous hauls, same items to that point right there. 63% overall difference in prices in terms of inflation. Now, what's going to happen with the economy and exactly when? I don't know. Are we going to are we going to watch this all ride out this year because it is an election cycle, an election year, an, a selection year, call it what you want. I go back and forth a lot of times with myself with what's going to happen. Um I'm hopeful. I'm praying. But I've told you before, I am preparing for the worst. Because the devil wants the worst for all of us. Okay? Uh, and I think that the corruption is going to be so incredible this year um, that we could be dealing with this for a long time. Um, clearly, we know that the we know that 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 they are trying to push for illegal invaders to vote. See, that's have you thought about that? Have you thought about all these people that uh, which I don't know any of these people. <laughs> but I know there has to be, and I've seen comments that are for this. Do you realize what, that these people are being used? Now, I'm, I'm not talking about the murderers and the, the assaulters and the gang members and all that. Anybody else coming over, do you really think that they have good intentions for these people? Have you really, regardless of who you're going to vote for or where, where you, what you believe... You know, we want to say that we are not for a government uh, that um, enslaves people. Well, guess what? You're enslaved and they are enslaving them as well because they're bringing them here for the cheap labor. Uh, they're bringing them here to use them for their votes and they're putting them in, in a complete feudal system. So it's really sad um, that this is not for helping these people. Where are all the children? Where's all the children anyway? So understand that that's not a left, right, middle, libertarian, who's your dad? This is a true issue that you should be questioning, which is why, what are they doing with all these people? And in five years, what's it going to be like? Now, are they going to be given positions to kick Americans out of jobs or to keep Americans out of jobs. Have you looked at all these numbers? It's pretty amazing. Um, but there's a lot of questions here that we need to be asking calmly, but to go, well, wait a minute. Now, are these people going to figure this out? Uh, probably. Depends on how, it depends on how much of a goodie bag and how long they're going to be given because we know that some of them are dissatisfied with the choices of food and how they want more and more and more. Um, all of this is going to come to a head because none of this, regardless, is sustainable. So what does this mean for me and you? That means we have to do our best at home with our family and our community to prepare. Our pantries, our finances, getting right with God. Um, that should be first, actually. Um, and establishing skills. And it's never too late to start. Start yesterday. Start yesterday. Start yesterday. We have to understand that really the depth of our problems doesn't have anything to do with our color. It doesn't. We're seeing a lot of situations where, you know, we have division within race right now, which is amazing and so sad. But see, these people have bitten off on that narrative too. That's what they want from us, right? This is all a bid for control. This is all a bid for control. And we have to do the best that we can to try to truly challenge and stop all of this happening. Because our problem is within 
And unfortunately, those that have a lot of control and they're bidding, uh, um, biting for, gnashing for the ultimate control, um, they're pushing all of these narratives. And it's really sad to see people that are more desperate, uh, maybe people that are more uneducated, um, ignorant. Guys, they're, they're, they're going hook, line, and sinker with all of these narratives. They don't understand that they're being used as pawns. It's a very sad state of affairs. And this happens on both sides. Don't think that I'm being biased on one or the other. I've, sp I've spoken very plainly about that. I am a conservative individual, um, but I am a very limited government. Um, I have a very limited government perspective. I think things need to be left up more to the people because we are a constitutional republic and we should have representation that represents us and we don't okay all these people are democracy you are a constitutional republic just so you know make sure you're correcting people on that too but lots of things going on and the us as a people and around the world um are going to be pushing back in different ways otherwise we're going to end up being like haiti have you seen all the have you seen what's going on in Haiti. Folks, when the word cannibalism enters the realm, we're at a whole new level. And you have to question, along with all of these people that I talked about being used, being brought here, what else has been brought here? Are these, are these types here as well? You should be asking. Because I'll tell you what, when somebody wants to perpetrate, be it steal from somebody, assault somebody, take their car, invade their home. I don't think the first thing they ask you is who do you vote for? Are you blue pill, red pill, purple, purple pill? I don't, I don't think that's on the questionnaire. I think they just do what they want to do to make their point, barbecue your arm, and they don't care. You need to think about that. That's harsh, but it's true. So please be preparing in all ways, like I said, getting right with God, listening to all types of different perspectives, making sure your pantry is continuing on a daily, weekly basis, every which way that you can to keep it going, paying off debt. I know some people are like, well, if this is all going to crash, why do you care? Well, we don't know how it's going to crash. We don't know how long this is going to go. Some of the things that I've heard say are talking about, I've said 10 years. I think that's modest and that's based upon, uh, you know, the height of the Great Depression. Although we know we didn't really pull out of it until after World War II. That's a long time to be in a depression and in a war all together. Think about what your grandparents, your, maybe your parents, grandparents, great grandparents went through during that time period. We don't understand it yet. And the question is, even with all the things that we know that happened, will it be as civil? Look at Haiti. And where are all the politicians that were supposed to be in the pocket helping Haiti? All those billions, where did they go? What happened there? Ask Haiti. So I hope you get a chance to listen to Colonel McGregor I think he's got some awesome things to say. I hope that you are taking the time this week in this, if you are having better weather like we are, it's not gonna be, we're, we're gonna be back down in the 20s next week. So don't get, I always say, don't get too hyper, but a lot of things going on, move it, make it happen. I love you guys. I hope you're doing well today. I know we're just talking some things out, but I think it's important to do so. I will link that video of the Colonel in the pinned comment of the video so you can listen to it. I think you're gonna be impressed. I think you are. I think he has got a very reasonable voice, stern and focused, reasonable voice that I think represents the people. God bless you. I love you. Hang in there. Just keep pressing forth, guys. <clears throat> I hate to say it, if we go through a couple of days or a week or two of things being seemingly smooth or if you get really busy and distracted or something happens, just understand in the back of your mind, a break is good and a focus is good, but this isn't going away. And that's all by design. 
just understand where we are. I will see you on the next video. Have a great afternoon. Godspeed and God bless. Thank you.